Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a brand new box office breakdown show. We're breaking down the weekend of July 23rd to July 25th. We have two new movies coming out. Where do they rank in the top five box office movies of the weekend? We're also going to look at the overall top five domestic box office movies of the entire year thus far. And we're going to look at how many U.S. films are making it on the top 10 worldwide films of the year as well. So if you're new to the channel, I do these breakdowns every single Monday. So if you're enjoying it already and please enjoy it, please like the video guys, the thumbs up button below you. That is the best way to support this channel at the moment. Also please comment down below your thoughts on the box. Let me know what movies did you see this weekend in theaters? Let me know to see what, and did you guys, are you guys even continuing to go to the movie theaters? A dire week in my opinion for the movie theater business. Also, please subscribe, ring the bell if you're new to the channel. I do these breakdowns every Monday. I also do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and movie rankings. All of those are coming down the line. I've also reviewed actually all five of these movies that are in the top five box office of the weekend. So let's, and you can click that playlist at the end of the video. Let's get into our top five movies of the weekend. So coming in in first place this weekend was M. Night Shyamalan's old, um, getting 16 Point five million dollars, a very weak opening weekend for an, a to be number one. It's his first weekend. It's the lowest opening weekend of an M Night movie, I believe, ever, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and we've been seeing kind of the twenty million threshold be the standard now, as uh, more theaters are opening up and more people are coming back to the movie. So the fact that we're back down in the sixteen, and we'll talk about the number two movie, which is other the other new movie of the weekend. Um, but a disappointing opening weekend for old and we'll see how big of a dip it takes um, for 60 million dollars just not good enough these days um, especially if people want to keep going to the theaters also what makes this a dire situation in people's opinions is that these first two movies are theater exclusive movies there's really nothing to blame we had Space Jam come in first place last week. That made $30 million, and that was also available on HBO Max for free. So when these movies that are theaters only need to do well at the box office. There's no excuses behind these. If they're theater exclusive movies and they're not doing well, that's on the movies themselves. Not You can't really blame it on a streaming service. Coming in in second place this week, I said the other big opening of the weekend, also a theater exclusive movie, Snake Eyes, the G.I. Joe Origins movie. $13.35 million in its opening weekend. That is massively disappointing, uh, mass underwhelming actually for G.I. Joe, which is trying to reboot its entire franchise. And they were clearly setting up a sequel in this movie. I wonder if it does get a sequel. I don't think it, it, this movie might just show that Henry Golding maybe isn't the biggest star as other people have been saying it. I really like Henry Golding, but maybe he isn't as marketable as he is at the moment. Um, maybe this franchise isn't for everyone. Again, these are based off of 60s, 70s um, action figures in an 80s cartoon. So is this is it my generation? Is it the new generation that maybe aren't into the G.I. Joe characters at all? And maybe that's why they didn't go see this movie this weekend. It's a really big thing because this movie is trying to set up an overall G.I. Joe franchise. And this low of an opening does not lend itself well to getting a sequel. Again, we'll talk about it if it gets a sequel in the coming weeks on this show. Coming in third place this week is Black Widow, which is in its third week. It made $11.6 million this weekend, which is a 55% dip off from the previous weekend, uh, which takes its total domestic gross to $154 million. Um, Black Widow is... An interesting movie. It is was not in first place, which was the big shock of the week last week. It's only been in first place in its opening weekend, where it still hold up really well, seventy eighty million dollars opening weekend, but it has completely fallen off a cliff. Um, at the box office, Disney was bragging about their numbers, and we talked about it on the show two weeks ago, bragging about their numbers. And now you're hearing nothing about how it's doing on Disney Plus, and you're hearing not great things now from the movie theaters. It's one of the rare MC movies to take this much of a dip. Normally MC movies can stay number one for multiple weeks, regardless of what's coming out. But 11.6 is the dip. They also did take obviously that big 69% dip from first to second weekend last week, which that and F9 uh, also did as well. So, uh, so Black Widow coming in third place. Coming in fourth place 
is Space Jam A New Legacy and it's his second weekend makes $9.5 million and takes a 70% dip. Again, a 69, sorry, 69.2 to be exact uh, percent dip in its second weekend. This is a movie that shocked everyone by coming in first place. Now, still not a hit because the budget for this movie was $150 million. This is available on HBO Max and in theaters, but it takes a just as big as dip as Black Widow and F9, but F9 and Black Widow opened much bigger than Space Jam. So this is a pretty bad news for Space Jam. They, they seemed, in the public at least, huge winners in its opening weekend with $30 million and topping Black Widow. But it comes out as probably the biggest loser of, this, of the weekend as they dropped 70% and they only made $30 million in its opening weekend. So not good news for Space Jam. I think what this is really telling you in all these 70% drop-offs is that the people who are coming back to the movie theaters are not coming back for repeat viewings. That's how movies can make in a billion dollars and hundreds and hundreds of million dollars at the box office is repeat viewings. And you're kind of seeing that with Black Widow, F9, and Space Jam all taking 70% hits. It shows that no one's coming back for repeat viewings. I wonder what movie will be able to get to a billion dollars. Can we even see a billion dollar movie again? based on how the box office is looking. And coming in fifth place this week, hanging in the top five is F9 in its fifth week, making $4.7 million, a 38% dip off from last week. And now it has over $163 million at the box office. F9 at the moment, the most successful movie overall of the entire year at the box office. So let's actually move transition into that. The top 21, to 20, 2021 movies at the domestic box office. F9 currently has now finally overtaken A Quiet Place Part 2. Quiet Place Part 2 is really ending its run in theaters. It's now officially on Paramount+. Plus. But F9, as I said, $163 million. Tops at the moment, second place, A Quiet Place Part 2 with $157 million, but still no one in sight of that $200 million benchmark. And if you look back at 2019, to get the $200 million just got you at number 10 overall of the domestic box. That was it, chapter two. And people said that was a disappointing movie. Coming at number 10 overall, the box office in 2019, making $210 million. We might not even see a $200 million movie this year. We shall see F9 a Quiet Place Part 2, Black Widow is number three with 154. It is $3 million short of A Quiet Place Part 2. It should be passing that this upcoming weekend, and it will overtake A Quiet Place Part 2. And the other $100 million movie is Godzilla vs. Kong. So we currently now have four movies topping $100 million. We'll see. We're going to keep track of that list every week. So F9 is number one and should be for the next couple of weeks. And overall, at the total box office worldwide of the entire year, F9 is the most successful U.S.-made um, film worldwide. Um, it's currently number three overall. There are two Chinese films taking up the number two, one, number two, uh, one and two. But F9 has made $621 million worldwide. They're really good overseas. Godzilla versus Kong. Black Widow, A Quiet Place Part Two, Cruella, and The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It are all in the top 10 worldwide. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six of the top 10 movies worldwide of the entire year are US films. Um, very fascinating statistic that Conjuring is in the top 10. We really haven't talked about The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It for a very long time. But F9 is miles away, over $150 million ahead of the pack worldwide. Again, we're going to keep looking at F9 because it is currently the most successful movie of the entire year, looking here domestically and worldwide for US-based movies. Uh, we have a big weekend, guys. Three upcoming movies are coming out. The first one is Jungle Cruise. This will be, well, as, of, as of now, the last Disney Plus Premier Access movie. It'll be premiering on Premier Access for 30 bucks and in theaters this coming Friday. And then two theaters exclusive movies. We have The Green Knight and Stillwater. We'll see if those movies can get into the top five this weekend. Will that kick F9 off our top five box office movies of the weekend? You can see right back here next week. Please like the video, subscribe, ring the bell if you like this type of box office content. And I'll see you guys in the next one.